I've had people ask me about my art room. It's literally a 1.5 meter by two meter space. You're zoomed out on this so that I could get as much of you in as possible. But as you can see, it's full of art supplies, fabrics. Um, It's actually a bit empty at the moment because of projects I've got to do for the book that I'm. you guys know about. So yeah, it's a bit chaotic in here but not as chaotic as it may be. Let's dive in. So starting here, I'll just like show you the art supplies. These are like the books that are nature based. I recently had to sort out and I got out every book in here that was related to sewing and pattern making and fashion design were removed from the space and they're in the other room. So these are my art, na like nature books for inspiration. You may have seen this one and this one in my birthday art haul video. These are from secondhand book video that I did when I was in the UK. Then we have further books here, Glorious Britain, Atolva Aisha's. These are ones that I picked up in Groningen a couple of weeks back. Let's dive into this. This is where all my different art kits are kept, so like packs for going out and about with art supplies. Okay, I'm going to do a video of those separately at some point, but but this is a really old case that I got um, probably like 13, 14 years ago now. The rest of that shelf is work related, so we won't continue along there. The next shelf down we have pencils. We've got my luminances, we've got my polychromos, so we've got my ink tents. This is like my in, at, in use pot. But I do want to have a change around with my pencils and I'll probably do a video on that. These are notebooks. These are finished sketchbooks that I've managed to cram in. These are empty sketchbooks or in progress sketchbooks. These are very in progress sketchbooks. So let me just pull this out and show you. So in here I have a selection of sketchbooks that haven't been used and sketchbooks that have been started a little bit. So I pull out what I need when I need it and when it's finished it gets stored away. Uh, these are the most recently completed ones which you will have seen both I think. These are in progress process sketchbooks. So this is the one that I'm using for my Urban Sketch Plus membership trainings. This is just my um, Terra palette. This one you will see very soon. My A4 Talons. I love this art creation sketchbook. It's almost finished. I've got two pages left, which is why I know it's going to be finished in February. When that's live, I'll put a link up there or in the description below. This is my acrylic month sketchbook at the moment. This is my current favourite sketchbook. It's the small version of the big one and I've been using that since I got it in early February. Acrylics. It's acrylic month. So these are, sorry, personal information. <laughs> these are acrylics all the acrylics that i have in a box here so i can reach them easily when i need to do an acrylic thing i'm not doing acrylic every single day because an acrylic painting a day would take a lot of time but i do have them to hand for when i am working on something notebook that keeps me organized book stuff which you guys know about but other people don't computer where i do all my editing and whatnot desk as you can see i'm halfway through everything okay let's look at now let's go over here first so on the next shelf down we've got reference ebooks for like drawing in uh instruction we've got um ideas generation type stuff and another drawing book that wouldn't fit on the shelf then none of this is relevant to you guys this is where if you've seen it my big magello uh, set up Ooh my gouache palette it's huge so the only place it can fit is here and then that's like sewing machine and stuff okay i've jumped over to the cupboard so this is like a permanently open cupboard to make the room feel a bit bigger but it's like doesn't even my arm won't even fit in it it's that small ignore this so this is like my spare sketchbooks my favorite ones are these are my oil pastels they're mostly sennelliers i'll take them out and show you in a sec then we have a moleskine we have a couple of moulin de roy canson paper 100 percent cotton this one is i think a i think it's the bockingford um, hot pressed. This is the cold pressed. This is my very expensive perfect etch sketchbook that I'm terrified of using until I feel like I'm super confident enough. Then I have a Canson or is it Fabriano? Oh no that's the St Cuthbert's. This is a Sea Whites of Brighton watercolour book. This one is the Strathmore watercolour but it's cellulose. Uh, I think series 400 not 500 and then other sketchbooky stuff in there. And then over here we have like fabrics and recording video hard drive for all the videos i got this amazing filing cabinet for christmas from david and it's brilliant because it has all my sewing patterns in which are not relevant to you so i won't show you those but it is an amazingly beautiful device and at the moment it has let's not worry about so then some of my art supplies are here the plan was to put them here so that they wouldn't distract me unfortunately well i'm easily distracted when it comes to art supplies so on the top we've got some pastel pencils i don't think you've seen those yet not because i bought them recently but because 
because I forgot they existed. They were bought last year, but I forgot to show them to you. Durant drawing pencils, Holbein pencils, brushes for like acrylics and gouache. And then these are like things to be used. I think it says tools and things. Then we have my Durant drawing pencils. We have a selection of different pens. Uh, we have, this is normally like filled with, I don't remember. This is brushes as well, uh, water brushes. Pencils to draw with, uh, book binding and sewing tools. Travel brushes, Neo colors. These are Neo color ones. I don't need easy access to them because I'm not a fan really. Little pops that I haven't decided what to do with these ones yet. And David bought me this for Christmas years ago. I don't know why, but it sits there because otherwise he'll be offended. In terms of my desk, I pretty much always have my etcher at the moment on my desk. Uh, these things you've seen. I generally have my pencil, as you can see, it's just floating around. Pencil sharpener. I haven't had the Palomino pencil sharpener fixed yet. They did say they'd send me a blade, but I'm still waiting. So I've been using this, it works perfectly fine. And see dirty water. What is a space if you don't have dirty water? Drawing tool, uh, never use it. I've had it for years, it's decorative really. Spare bottle. This is because I want to organize my color pencils by color, but we'll see if we do it in this video. Neo colors. I'll show you those in a moment. Different paintbrushes. These are the ones that I like go to quite often. So before I just run through these, let me go through this cabinet, which is, so I have two cabinets. I have one this side, which has, I'm in my pajamas, don't judge me. This is my like sewing and pattern making, and this is art supplies. So you can see that I've kind of given like 50% of the space up to art supplies because I'm serious about learning. This is my dry drawing materials drawer. I have to pull out the one underneath because this top drawer isn't locked into place. It comes out further. So this is where I keep dryish materials. So in here, you've seen this before because I showed this, I think, in an art hall last year. We have a selection of dry pastels, soft pastels. Then we have clips. Ooh. Plenty of clips because I always seem to need a clip for my pages if I've got multiple sketchbooks on the go. Spare pencils. This is the beautiful sharpener that doesn't work. That was from the Sketch It Go. What's in here? Hmm. I thought this was empty. Oh no, okay. So these things were in here, but I put my Neo colors in there. So this is like spare leads for mechanical pencils, that kind of thing. In here we have my uh, Durant ink ink tents blocks. So I'm hand holding you because it's just easier than trying to get a tripod into here. So I cut these funny things that they were delivered in from Jackson's to stop them floating around. And there they are. I need to see this is the thing. I put stuff in the top drawer for easy access, but then I forget because I'm so consumed with all the other things I have. Then let me show you in there. We have ooh, what's that? Pencil sharpies. This is my unison set. Oh gosh, there's something under that. Hang on. Okay, we've switched hands. Oh, okay, it's the Contes. So I got these for Paris and then I never ended up taking them and using them. So those go right at the back because, you know, the Contes. Then we have this beautiful set of Unison, which you will have seen in a video. There's only so many linking that YouTube lets you do. If I can link, I'll put it above. Otherwise, it'll be in the description. Then we've got Blackwing pencils. These are my different sticks. Some of these you've seen because I swatched them out with you. Some of them you haven't. These are like drawing supplies as well and a lady thing for chopping stuff not terribly exciting but tidy i think this is supposed to go back in so here's a selection of neo colors and here are more neo colors i'm showing those to you now because those are supposed to go back in that drawer okay so that's what that looks like okay done so that's that drawer then we have the markers drawer and in here you will have seen ugh, this massive pack of pens in my birthday art haul video actually if you watched until the end you will have seen it then we have all my tombos let me show you down here we have a packet of neurofan eco lines those are the ones that i don't use very often because they're so bright so that's why they're the back we have my faber castells here then we have acrylics here these ones are too big to fit into this pot so they just slot on the side when this is empty these will fit in here as well like we don't have any issues fitting everything in but those are all my markers then we have watercolor and gouache so these are all watercolor inks ecoline ones we have aqua drop ones we don't have a great selection we do have some there this is a new item from my birthday yay 
so that's just kind of floating around there this is watercolor ground no masking fluid i tell a lie and this is the ink that i've had for like a gazillion years granulation fluid i want to do some experiments with this which is why it's prominent but i haven't done that yet further back here we have daniel smith's all back there these are isero and rembrandt this is my winsor newton here we have gouache behind the gouache i can't get that out because there's so many there's my sennelier's but i don't get them out very often which is why they're at the back then we have palettes oh my gosh look at these i might have to get you a bit low here hold on pegan all you've seen i recently shared that with you this is my kurataki art nouveau set then we have daniel smith's in here oh maybe i should do it like this it's gonna be easier so i don't break my back bending over pretty sure you've all seen this daniel smith's then we have my schminky tubes. I want to get a pan palette for those, but my local place had sold out. This is my mini, I can't get that open, mini color mixing set. This is the funny little etcher one that I showed you in my worst buys video. This is my Roman Schmalls palette. These are my, I've got little one in here. I keep one on my desk now and one in my office. And then I've got the big ones as well. It is organized. It's just organized differently to how others might organize it. I do have another small palette, but that's with my, actually I have my Winsor Newtons, which is in a kit and another one of these in a kit. And then Peg and All goes here. The easy access and Art Nouveau goes there and my color wheel on top. This is much harder to video in this small space than you'd think. Acrylics. So this is where my acrylics normally live, but because I have my acrylics out, they don't live in here at the moment. It's acrylic month. So I've got my fluid acrylics with droppers and stuff. These are so pretty, the muted ones. I've been using some of these in my acrylic month and they're beautiful. Then we have art medium and gesso at the back. And these are more acrylic inks, the Daily Rowney ones. So if you saw my art, my plans for February, my acrylic month plans, I had intended to use these. I haven't even considered it because I've been so busy doing other stuff with acrylics. So we're halfway through. I might have to get these out. And then this is everything else. We have pipettes. We have lino printing stuff. We've got the awful Hemi gouaches. That I think is the Daniel Smith ground. I have my jelly plate, which I've never used. More printing stuff. I've got a packet of charcoal. It's just basically like the everything else kind of drawer. The last thing to show you then before I say goodbye, I promise I would, is my box of oil pastels, which I haven't used for ages. These are old ones that I was given by my brother, I think, before I went to art school. Like when I say art school, I mean like I did a foundation in design in order to go to fashion school. We have one of those smudger things. And then I have a selection of scenarios. I don't know why that one's loose. I must have bought it and not had anything to put it in. There you go. Those are my Sennelier oil pastels. I do have an oil pastel month planned, by the way, in case you're wondering. And then paint brushes I already talked you through. So these are like my smaller lapse rounds and my big beautiful. This one was ridiculously expensive. It was a present. The Winsor & Newton Hugo Squirrel. I don't think I've ever used it because I'm scared of ruining it. And I know um, art supplies unused are a waste. Oh dear, I can't get that one open. That's got like my hake brushes and this one, which is also really soft. It was a silver atelier. But there you go. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. That's my art room slash sewing studio. And I will catch you in my next video. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> now, what do we call this thing? It really fit on top. <laughs> I don't want to go in.